screen. First off, Montana De La Rosa versus JJ Aldridge. Um, I literally fell asleep during this fight. I straight up fell asleep during this fight. I missed the entirety of the prelims because this fight was so fucking boring. I don't care about this fight. Don't fucking care. Cut both of them. Cut fucking both of them. Next up is Arichi Lang versus Johnny Munoz. Uh, fuck. Next up is Arichi Lang versus Johnny Munoz. I think Arichi Lang should fight Damone Blackshear. They're right next to each other in that, uh, in the ranking, in the unranked of the fucking bantamweight. Damone Blackshear coming off a week's notice loss after fighting a week before to Mario Batista in a very close fight. I think given this gimme of Arichi Lang, make him look fucking good. Arichi Lang's not fucking good. Okay, Arichi Lang, he's, not, he's fucking terrible. He sucks. He made this fight fucking boring as fuck. Don't care about Arichi Lang. Feed him to the goat, Damone Blackshear. Oh Next up, uh, Vanessa Demopoulos versus hey, Tanaka Murata. Man, fuck, Don't man? fucking care about this at all. People are saying, oh my god, robbery. It's a robbery, terrible decision. Um, I don't give a fuck, okay? It's a women, it's an unranked women's MMA fight. I don't fucking care. Vanessa Demopoulos, Maria Oliveira rematch. Oh my God, that is a beautiful black queen. Next up is Nate Maness versus Mateos Madonka. Uh, great fucking KO from Nate Maness. I didn't catch it live, but I fucking rewatched it. Mendonca, uh went for a fucking leg lock. Nate Maness defended it and just started punching the fuck out of him on the ground. Um, but Nate Maness still fucking sucks. I don't care about Nate Maness at all. He's an unranked flyweight who fucking sucks. Give him to an up and comer, uh, Daniel Perez. Even though he's 0-1 in the UFC, he'll probably still beat Nate Maness. Nate Maness is fucking terrible. The fact that Mateos Mendonca got KO'd by Nate Maness in that fashion is baffling to me. Mateos Mendonca might be one of the worst fucking fighters we've ever seen. You got KO'd by fucking Nate Maness. What is wrong with you? Next up, another unranked women's MMA fight. Kovalkiewicz versus Diana Bobita. Diana Bobita's hot, but she didn't win this fight, so I'm not going to pick any fight for this. I don't care about Carolina Kovalkiewicz. Don't give a fuck. Next up is Alexander Hernandez versus Bill Aljo. Bill Aljo did not fucking win this fight, okay? I'm sorry to fucking burst your stupid little fucking bubble. He did not win this fight. He lost the first and second rounds. And guess what? Guess what? To all you little crybabies out there, no, Bill Aljo won fair and square. Um, guess what? I don't care. I'm not gonna rewatch it. I watched it once live. I was barely paying attention to it. Uh, don't care. Bill Aljo didn't win this fight. And I think you should give him Damon Jackson. I think he's fight Damon Jackson. Damon Jackson's gonna have a loss to Billy Quarantillo. He's kind of, they're kind of in that same area. Bill Aljo deserves a just outside of the rankings dude who isn't that fucking good, right? Well, who would he be? Alex and Hernandez barely okay dude let's not fucking give him a huge step up give him damon jackson that's a pretty good fight do i need to fucking explain myself further next up the one you were all waiting for okay drew dober versus ricky glenn um first of all just want to say chris tonioni is the greatest referee of all time he knew okay so in this fight dober was piecing up ricky glenn already in the first fucking minute of the fight and gets him down on the ground drops him gets into guard and tries to stand up ricky glenn uh, blatantly grabs into his glove and Drew Dober sitting there pointing at his glove for like five seconds straight going literally saying he's grabbing my glove and you know what you do know what Chris Tognoni does do you know what Chris Tognoni does stop doing that and it just let just lets it happen dude don't tell me that's not the greatest referee of all time he knows that glove grabbing should already be be legal in the UFC. So he doesn't give a fuck about what the UFC's pussy little rules are. He has his own rules. Chris Tognoni has his own rules. He will do what the fuck he wants. He don't give a fuck, bro. But Drew Dober should fight Claudio Puelles, right? Drew Dober's, I mean, if you're fighting Ricky Glenn, you're fighting these up and comers with like zero fucking name. Um, and Claudio Puelles still somewhat has a name. And don't tell me you don't want to see fucking Claudio Puelles get his shit kicked in by fucking Drew Dober. He's a big dog. He's a big bear. He's a motherfucking lion. Next up, the people's main event, Joaquin Buckley, New Mansa versus Alex White Shark Morano. The White Shark versus the Black Shark. I think Joaquin Buckley should fight Brian Battle. I was pretty in between on him fighting Mike Mallet and Brian Battle, but I'd much rather see him versus Brian Battle. Mike Mallet, I think, needs a different type of step up, right? Joaquin Buckley. I don't know how well he's going to do in welterweight. I don't know how, uh, how well he's going to do 
he's in that low rankings, like unranked area at the very least. He's beating the Andre Fialos. He's beating the Alex Moronos convincingly. He's pretty fucking good. And I think Brian Battle is that same test. They're both former middleweights coming down to welterweight. I think that's just a good fucking fight, dude. Brian Battle has uh, flashy kicks. Joaquin Buckley is fucking aggressive as fuck. And it's just a good fight, dude. It's just a good fight. I don't need to explain myself saying that. Next up is Joe Pfeiffer versus Abdul Razak Al Hassan. Uh, great performance from Joe Pfeiffer. Great performance from Joe Pfeiffer. Uh, choked Abdul Razak Al Hassan out unconscious. People were saying he tapped. He did not fucking tap. You can see the replay. He makes his hand into a fist and then hits those pitter patter pussy punches. That's not a fucking tap, okay? And Joe Pfeiffer. Uh, by the way, by the way, just want to fucking put this out there. Hold on. I'm not picking him. I'm picking Joe Pfeiffer by, by fucking, uh, second round sub. I picked Joe Pfeiffer by second round submission. I said he's going to get him to the ground and lock up an opportunistic submission. Don't tell me I'm not the fucking king of fucking predictions. Did better than fucking guru. And Joe Pfeiffer, I think Joe Pfeiffer, I was maybe saying maybe he should fight Chris Curtis, but I want Chris Curtis to fight other people. I think Joe ah! Pfeiffer should fight Gregory Robo <laughs> Gregory Robocop Rodriguez. Don't tell me this is not a banger fucking fight. It's the exact type of fight that Joe Pfeiffer deserves. He does not deserve a rank opponent after beating Abdul Razak Al Hassan. He was getting his leg uh, chewed up in that fight. He was getting hit with some shots. Not like Abdul Razak Al Hassan was doing much. But I don't think there's like no like low level fucking uh, ranked middleweights that I think Joe Pfeiffer would fight that'd be like an entertaining fight and that the schedules fucking line up. Him versus Ro Robocop does line up. That's an absolute scrap and that does deserve you a ranking. Like if you beat Robocop, you should be fucking ranked. And lastly, King motherfucking Green versus Grant Dawson. Proof that hood beats all. You can be hood as fuck and beat someone who has 10 times the amount of skill as you. Bobby Green should have lost this fight, but he's so hood, he had his hands complete on, already starting the fight going like this, being just hood as fuck, taunting him in the most hood ass way, and switch stance, left straights him, one punch fucking knockdown, hits a couple more ground and pound strikes, knocks Grant Dallison out. Hood ass performance from Bobby Green. I think it was like a 33 second KO. I think Bobby Green, and I think this is the fight for Bobby Green versus Dan Hooker, okay? I would much rather have Bobby Green versus Nato Maikano. I think it's a more uh, intriguing matchup. I think it's a more intriguing matchup. I think the trash talk would make it a lot bigger of a fight. But I like respecting fighters calling out other fighters. Bobby Green called out Dan Hooker in the post-fight uh, interview. And I like respecting that, right? I was already picking between Dan Hooker and Hinata Moicano. But if he's calling out Dan Hooker, fucking give him Dan Hooker, okay? A hood-ass motherfucker versus a crazy fucking retarded fucking Australian dude. Don't tell me that's not a banger fucking fight. Bobby Green proves that hood beats all. So thank you guys for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know down below. I have better picks than Guru, and I make my predictions in five minutes at 3 a.m. Thank you all for watching. Eagle MMA out. Hey. Young Lean? Are you Young Lean? What? Are you Young Lean? Mm. No, I'm Barry Dillon. Mm. Uh, okay.